Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we have started an amazing RC car unit. And in our first video, we wired up these red, green, blue LEDs so that they would flash red and blue because we're gonna make police cars. If you wanna make a party car or something else, you could change the different colors. You could do green and blue or red and green. Sort of that color choice is your option. So if you wanna get this wired up on your shield, you wanna check out a previous video and today we are gonna build on this and we are gonna add a new circuit element called a piezo buzzer, which looks like this. It's in our Elegoo kits and it's gonna be a lot of fun and we'll add some sound to our project. So we'll need that and we'll also just need a single wire so that we can connect it into our computer brains. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add in our piezo buzzer. Something really important to note is if you look at your piezo at the top the right way you'll see this little plus sign so piezo buses are also one-way streets they're polar objects just like the led we need to make sure that our plus sign gets the higher voltage and the other pin on this will get the lower so this is our positive side here and our negative side there so i'm going to plug this into my breadboard i'm going to put the positive towards what i'm considering the bottom where my switches are and actually, no, I'm gonna put my positive going up. And I know I'm doing that because I know where I'm going here. And I'm gonna connect this positive one up into a row up here of Arduino pieces. So then we need to connect one side to ground and one side up to the Arduino. So first, let's collect, connect our negative side down into ground. This is great, I have a ground rail right here. All of these pins at the bottom part are ground. You can see the G and D on that. Up here is a five volts. We're gonna connect this to ground and we can just do that through a simple wire. You might have longer jumper cables. I have some sort of smaller pieces and I am going to see what might fit in there. I think I might use a green one. And so I'm gonna go from the negative side into ground, just like that. All right. And that's gonna connect my piezo to ground and I'm gonna take the positive side and I will connect that into one of the pins on my Arduino. And we are gonna plug it into pin four on our Arduino that will keep it the same as what we did in our Tinkercad circuits tutorial. So that will be right next to the other two pins that we used for our lights. We'll plug into pin four. And the other side of this wire is gonna go right to where that positive part of our piezo buzzer is coming out at. And plug it in just like that. So my piezo buzzer is now wired positive into my Arduino pin four and the ground or the negative into ground on my shield. And this will give us a fun little siren. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to change the program that we have on our computer to do something with pin four and we can get that programming from our Tinkercad circuits tutorial. We're gonna go into our code on that piece and in our Tinkercad circuits tutorial for the part two we showed you guys what we could add here and that is a line of blocky programming that says play speaker on pin and we're going to do pin four because that's what we're wired up into here and you can choose the tones that you want and that will choose how high your way and your wall are and we'll play them for a half a second so that it should match up with the lights now we can't put this blocky programming straight onto the computer here and that's because this guy only understands C++ programming and not blocky programming. But what we can do is we can choose to go from blocks into blocks and text, and that will give us our text, which is all the way over here on the side. Over in our Arduino IDE stuff, we can copy all of this, we'll delete it, and we will hit control paste, oops, to add in our stuff. Let's go grab that again. And you can see from our previous class, our stuff is slightly different. We've added this pin mode four, and that's our speaker. And then we've told it to play a tone on that for a certain amount of time. So we can check our code by verifying it. It'll ask us to save, and we'll see how it compiles. I always like to do this before so that you know if something happens in the upload, it wasn't the code. And then we can upload it and it will upload and it should immediately start playing when it turns back on. There we go. And I'll 
unplug that, that's really loud. You can change the tones if you like a different tone. You could change that here, right here in this spot. Here is, oops, right here is this 5024, that's one of your tones. So this is the pin you're playing on, the tone you're playing, and how long you're playing it. So if you wanted this to be maybe lower, you could maybe put 700 hertz here instead of 5,000, and we could re-upload this and see how that changes after, oop, we gotta upload it. There we go, now it's uploading the new one. And that sounds pretty nice, if you ask me. I kind of like that. That sounds very much like a little police car siren. So I'm liking this 700 and 523 seems a little random. We could put just 500 there and re-upload that. But that will get you the siren on here. And in our next tutorial, we are gonna add some motors and a little bit of motor control to this guy. And then we will start planning how we can do it in remote control using our fun little IR pieces, these little IR remotes. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I hope you join us. If you are a patron of ours at patreon.com slash rosyresearch, you can get the code for these along with some office hour help if you need help building these. And if we do any sort of 3D printing, we do ship that out to our patrons. So you should definitely check us out. We hope that we will see you there, and hopefully we'll see you with the rest of this project. Have a great one, friends. Bye.